first uh, so hello guys uh, so in this video we will um, work with if collision distance uh, which is similar to the buffer tool for vector data but Euclidean distance creates a raster data set uh, so we will use to my, uh, we will see how this can be used uh, for vector data so we have the similar map uh, fire stations uh, three fire stations so I selected one first we will create if clearing distance for the first one first uh, before uh, checking uh, finding you clearing this goes to extension and see that whether your spatial analysis tool pack is activated so in my case it's activated you clear uh. Uh, so this is Euclidean distance, uh, we will create it for the first station. Let's uh, choose this fire stations, uh, which is, we already selected this one, the first one. So uh, let's uh, name it station one distance. Uh, output cell size we will make it 50 uh, maximum distance maximum distance this value which is uh, two and a half kilometers approximately two miles so before clicking OK go to the uh, workspace and uh, go to the processing extent and uh, we could click yes uh, extend a slot boundary this one let's click OK so we see this uh, <coughs> uh, distance Euclidean distance map for the first station the same we will do for the second third station which is close to the uh, first one it will be seen if we will zoom out so this is the third station the same uh, oh, sorry the same pr uh, procedure if clicked in distance uh, fire stations uh, station to distance 50 meters uh, cell size and uh, this is the maximum distance uh, don't forget to put the processing extent to lot boundaries So we see this double bull's eye here for two uh, two fire stations. Uh, so <clears throat> this is a first f uh, first fire station, third fire station, two miles from the first of uh, the first one, then two miles from the second one, and we want to know the overlapping area of these two fire stations. And uh, for this, we will uh, use this uh, cell statistics. Uh, function which is in spatial analysis tool for uh, raster data so station one station two uh, cell statistics so uh, we will <coughs> create uh, this uh, sum of cell statistics for both of them, uh, which will take this uh, the overlaying area of this two raster data set. By the way, don't forget to check out this ignore no data in calculation. Uh, click OK. So uh, we can close so far this thing. Uh, so this is our overlaying area. We can go to the top 
so this is our overlaying area of two uh, <coughs> stations and uh, we can change the color so these are the closest areas for both stations and these are the farthest uh, the distance areas for from both stations as we can see from the gradient color so uh, one question might arise why we need this uh, this kind of analysis can be used for uh, various purposes uh, one of them for instance um, uh, let's imagine that uh, instead of this fire station we have radio stations and this radio coverage area of both stations overlay with each other and we want to um, <clears throat> analyze how this radio waves impact to the wild habitat uh, for this area so this in this case this kind of um, tools uh, application of these tools can be uh, helpful